One month after the BP drilling disaster began, President Obama appointed a commission to investigate the causes and consequences of the crisis. Former Senator Bob Graham of Florida and former EPA Administrator Bill Riley. They will lead the National Commission on the BP oil spill in the Gulf. With a specific charge to recommend regulatory changes to learn the lessons of Deepwater Horizon and ensure it never happens again. After months of public hearings, meetings, and staff research, the Commission released their report suggesting significant changes related to the safety, management, and federal agency oversight of offshore oil drilling. Louisiana night ain't no more Kicking mud up off a crawfish hole Barefooted with a fishing pole Make a living with my own two hands One specific recommendation, which resonated with members of the coastal communities affected by the BP disaster, was for the creation of citizens' advisory councils which would allow for those most affected by oil companies' mistakes to check on the response plans and cleanup technology for future spills. This could happen again tomorrow, and basically, we're in the same position that we was we we were when the VP disaster occurred. There's not been a lot of rules and regulations changed. There's not a lot of safety uh, that's changed. So you know, here we are. We are uh, coming up on a one-year anniversary and we still have no change. Uh, if another well blows out tomorrow, we're going to be in the same position that we were when this one blew out. A significant opportunity for Gulf restoration was identified by the Oil Spill Commission in their recommendation that 80% of the Clean Water Act fines resulting from the BP disaster be directed to jumpstart projects necessary to increase the resiliency of coastal wetlands, seagrasses, estuaries, and deepwater reefs. This is one of the best studied coasts in the world. I really think that we have a great opportunity here to capitalize on the scientific understanding that we have, to capitalize on the restoration experience that we've had in the last few decades, to take the opportunity that the Mississippi River sediments provide us, and perhaps the opportunity that these Clean Water Act funds provide us, and put that all together. We've got big plans for this coast and we know what needs to be fixed, but getting the money for it has always been a problem. I think we get tantalized now by the fact that there could be a large amount of money coming our way. A large amount of money with a big problem that needs to be fixed and that money coming independent of the federal deficit calculation. That's pretty big for us. Despite the hard work of the Oil Spill Commission, there is no guarantee of any action in response to their report without legislation from Congress or changes in regulations from the administration. The recommendations will simply end up gathering dust and represent little more than wasted energy and good intentions. The federal government and the oil companies, they're not going to do the right thing unless we force them to do the right thing, unless we ask them the hard questions, unless uh, we stand up and, and, and decide to take care of our, the health of the people on the Gulf Coast and the, and the health of the ecosystem. You know, use all your little, all their little slogans against them and hold them to what they said they do. As the Gulf Restoration Network monitors and responds to this crisis, they continue to need your help. Visit bpdrillingdisaster.org to take action, stay informed, and donate to their efforts.